Hey everyone, I'm your new drift buddy, Trifid is he. When I first rolled into the garage, I was more rust than car. My owner took one look at me and decided to play surgeon. He was in an old army shovel and the cheapest welder money could buy to patch me up. Now I'm part car, part shovel, and 100% ready to drift my way into a wall. Woo! Technically, I'm in limbo. My spirit got anchored on some dumb old man's dream to drift. He thinks people would subscribe if they could see the spiritual side of drift cars like me. <laughs> Just let me die. We did that weld there, don't we? Uh, I've been working my way down. I've found a new hole here. Now uh, this looks like, to me, it's like the skin that overlaps this chassis thing here. So in theory, that should all peel off, knock off, and then we should be able to weld up this anyway. We need to go on the inside because we had water on the inside, didn't we? So that's another piece of weld that we will need to do later on. <laughs> it's a new discovery. And these things here are toast. I don't know how you can see it there. Managed to poke the screwdriver through so they're basically cooked, you know what I mean? They're replaceable. I can't imagine how difficult they're going to be to get off. I mean, them nuts don't look very happy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Should be interesting. I'll have to get some witchcraft around that. Otherwise, it's looking like I could do with dropping the whole subframe because there seems to be a lot of rust up there and all the pieces that are rusty need cleaning up, you know what I mean? So it might be worth just dropping this whole subframe doing a bush kit on it and then obviously cleaning all the rust up and getting out everything because I could do a drop in that fuel tank as well so we might as well just drop everything out so then next thing this rusty patch here leads onto the inside so we could do getting that rear bumper off pretty quick so shall we take the bumper off this old girl and see what the damage is this was a potential bad spot as well, but I missed that wire wheel. I think it's just this like undercoating stuff. I'll get some paint on that later as well. Oh, it is. The battery is completely dead. I've got nothing at all. Can't open boot because the battery's dead. So, I've put my jump pack on, but it's still not doing it. So, what you gotta do, you're gonna make sure you do is press that button there. Get life. Still not got no life. Oh, there we go. I'm an idiot. You gotta press that button there, look. You gotta press this one. I'm an idiot. You let it click. But it can only go for so long because those cables can only carry high current for a short period of time. Uh, do we have power? There we go. I think I got one of them boots that are awkward. No, still don't want to do it. Oh no. I think I've got to start at all. It's the only way to keep it running so I can open it. Thank God for that. Second boost did it. Right then, where was we? This rusty bit, cinematic pan. We need to investigate it in here, you know what I mean? So I need to start stripping off. Z's bumper. I'm gonna get butt naked. I'm not looking forward to it. That's all the reverse parking sensors. An absolute mess that is. So, just because you can't use your eyeballs. I watched a Jack Shanahan video, shout out Jack. He basically rips this whole thing out. He rips all this bar out and everything. Apparently they don't actually do anything, it's just a slick. So, and he took all the wiring loom out of it. And the size of this wiring loom was insane. So I think we might be doing that anyway. So, let's get stripping. Alright, paint on the ball. Let's take me on. So, needs cleaning. It's annoying me already. But, not really too much to look at, is it? Annoying cable things. Use a screwdriver to get them off. Got these, uh. What are you doing, you noisy git? 
Very noisy kid. Always with a camera. Yeah, these reverse park sensors, they definitely go in. They're just annoying there. For a bash bar, and then when you hit it, you know you're there, you know what I mean? Ultimate reverse sensor. Anybody want it? So anyway, investigating rust. It's not too bad there, I don't think. I don't know. Looks worse than camera. Yeah, it's pretty bad there. We'll give this a bit of clean up, see how it turns out. So then we learn the extent of this damage comes all the way down here. We've got a hole there. That's looking a bit naked, isn't it? And uh, well, the camera can go in. It looks pretty bad up there as well. Can it see? There we go. Yeah. But, interestingly, bought some overfenders for this. So we should be able to chop most of that out. I think the overfenders come all the way down to like that bracket there, that cream bracket. There. So, probably going to be able to chop most of that out anyway. But looking at it, this one bolts here, so let's take this off. Snap that one. So I thought I'm going to leave them two just in case. Tried one underneath. That one snapped too. So I think I'm going to get the WD for it. It's probably the smart move. You know what, I'm probably going to do every knot on the back end here. Just let it sit, you know what I mean? Probably worth doing overnight, isn't it? Oh, I mean, yeah. Got WD all over me. Lame, mate, now. Really? We've had a cup of tea while it soaks. And if this snaps after this, I'm not even going to attempt the other ones. So here goes nothing. So with that, that bit there, imagine we can just chop it down up, just chop it up there, you know what I mean, out of the way. Um, I don't know what this is. What is that? Looks like, oh, it's just like a cabin breather or something. Got this thing here. Probably remove that. This old girl. I don't know how I'm going to do that, because it comes up here as well. And further. Oh, we're going to need to chop all that. So I think we're probably going to leave this bit for now. I need my overfenders to arrive in order to like better gauge where I want to cut and what I want to do. They're going to take apparently four weeks. They're made to order, you know what I mean? So I think we're on week one now, so could be a long while yet. I'm just going to leave that for now. Concentrate on other things. The more I look at this piece, the more I don't understand why it's even there. It don't really do it. It's just like a guard for that stupid container. If we look at it from like here, just like a corner cap that we should realistically be able to move and it'd like raise your body line to there, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like ground clearance? I don't know, I'm trying to find a positive. <laughs> but I feel like that piece needs to come off. Yeah, I really do. It's not even doing it anyway. So, may as well just rattle it off so I can get underneath it and seal it, you know what I mean? So now we can see. You can see it's pretty bad in there. Go there. Yeah. That's pretty bad, and that's basically the bracket for that breather. So if it looks like it, we've got, we're going to have to make a new br a bracket. Anyway, that's it's not really a problem, that is it? In fact, it comes off there. Even better. A uh, piece of metal, remake that, stick it onto there. Nice little job. Uh, I've had three snap nuts so far. Can we make it four? Yes, we can. So, on facing from the inside, can you see we've got some more, got some more running up the wheel. Which is directly opposite that bit there. 
so it's basically running down there you know what I mean so if we cut it say there it's going to cut down here you know what I mean which is not a problem because that means just more wheel clearance you know what I mean the chassis is there we can just tub it that way you know what I mean which shouldn't be a problem really we don't care about the skeleton I don't feel like I can do any more until I can drop this back end, really. What I am annoyed at is that everything is absolutely covered in shite. So I might just jet wash everything on this back end and call it a night for tonight. Because I need help on the other bit. Mm. But I'm confident. I think we've got three or four major holes about this big kind of thing that we need to weld up. Should be simple enough. A piece of metal this big would literally do the whole job. So, lots of welding, basically. My mate Brad will be happy. He wants to go out welding. <laughs> we'll give him the artist bit. Uh -huh. Trying to pull the wires through. I need to get all this guffins out and cover off. I had to take this bracket off so I can get this on. So I think that just holds the trim. But it gets under this. Oh, what's that? It's like all insulated and it's a trick amplifier for all the sound system. You get a couple of subs in it. I'm hoping that's worth a few, Bob. No, I mean. After the fifth time washing my hands, I think I'm putting some gloves on finally. So, uh, I think that's the end of me wiring there and there. It's monstrous. I'm hoping the old uh, brake lights and that aren't integrated into it. Because that sub's all in like one big fat chunk there. Runs all the way down here. It's monstrous. I need to get it out. All that's like daisy chained into it. It's an absolute mess. So, I need to somehow get it out. Please God say the brake lights aren't connected to it. Old aerial module. DAB, is it? I don't know, I don't want it. Part of my purchase was a very nice uh, stereo. I'm sure it'll do something. We've got another snake ball. It's not like the seventh, the sixth. I can't even remember anymore. Shall we see what's behind mystery door number one there? Or probably on the top door now. Eat sink on that tiniest amp. <laughs> it's all thin, no amp. Can never go wrong with a nice uh, Bose amp, can you? That'll probably come in useful at some point. That I'll be able to use it for some couple of speakers somewhere. You know what I mean? And then you look at the bottom of all that metal. That metal is now usable on my car. We can basically do a butt cheek transplant. That's awesome. Thank God for that. I don't have to go and find metal now. We could do welding if we want. So we're getting there. Just need to take that out so we can access this wiring. And I need to untangle that basically. That's going to be a fun job. Might be the last job of the night. Uh, it's pretty warm. So we can see our lovely hole shining through. It's actually a good sign that it's like easy to repair. It's like seamed on there. Not it's getting a bit crusty if you follow it around up here and up. Shouldn't be a problem, I should wire wheel off, treat that up. Probably gonna hammer out the whole back of this using a paintbrush. Most people have used to steal it in a spray, but I don't want to inhale it basically. But yeah, a, t a job to do is take off all these metal things here basically. Take all those off, and then I think you've got to like basically cut all this out here. Yeah. There's loads of light sand deadening behind there, you'll see, you'll see. Interesting fact, it's, like it's got an electric boot popper, but there's a cable pulley system in it. I'm like, where does that cable? So I've been looking around for it. So it turns out, if you go underneath this bar here, there's a little pulley here. Emergency boot popper. I thought that was very good. So that basically means I can take that cable out as well. I don't need electronic assistance, because the battery always dies out. I need to be able to open it right out. That's wicked. So then, this abomination here. Got one wire. A bit of signal, I don't know. I've got to take it out of that. This should be fun. Oof. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? Jeez. 
Jesus Christ, is that? Uh -oh. I've done this. Um, it's a motor on the back, which I'm thinking about ditching. If I can open it manually, weight savings and just it's a nuisance in it. So I've got a cable that's running up into here, which is like I'm assuming like a sensor to tell you boots open. So I'm going to ditch all that, I think. There we go. I think it loads better now. Got the electric motor that pulls that little handle and pulls that open, yeah? But you've also got a cable one that goes to that thing there. So I'm not trying to have the cable, it's reliable, you know what I mean? So get rid of that. So there we go, nice clean harness. Just need to figure out what that is now. Might be alarm, I think, I don't know. Have to see. Yeah, it's the alarm. Definitely taking that out. I don't want that going off in the morning, it pissed me off that. It's all about the small victories, lads. I basically gained a bracket. Hey, probably use that on the wing, won't I? Mission to take them nuts out. I just want some free nuts, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd say that was a, a good session. We know what we can do with that welding now. We have spare metal to do it. Looking at these, these can become spare metal as well. And they've already got bends in them and stuff and everything. That's perfect metal. I was looking at this. This unbolts here, so I can probably take all this off. That's free metal to use. All right. So nicely stripped down, basically basically get rid of a roll cage. Oh, I think we're going to call it a night now, because I'm sick of being dirty. And I'm hungry. Everybody we asked agreed. Yeah, you what? I agree, man. I agree. I agree. Brother, I agree with you. I agree. Weld Your Customs makes the sickest, trickiest boxes ever to grace Mother Earth. Store things like the squirrel you yearn to be. Whale Jaw Customs, baby. The you didn't know you needed. Whale Jaw Customs.